She is a supermodel who has rocked the runways for nearly a decade. Most recently in Milan for Fashion Week, he is a TV personality and designer who took the fashion world by storm. Absolutely. We are talking about Gigi Hadid and Tan France, and they together... <laughs> Great chemistry. Our co-hosting the next Netflix competition series is called Next in Fashion, where up-and-coming designers compete for a chance to win two hundred thousand dollars. Nice, yeah, I know. nice. Big bucks. Big bucks. Okay, yeah. wait. You guys met on FaceTime. I'm trying. Your origin story is very complicated. Yeah, who's going complicated first? Complicated, but gorgeous. You tell it's it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was um, five years ago, like the rest of the world, falling in love with the queer eye yes. cast yeah. and. Um, I was specifically spending that weekend on my couch. I think I was, like, going through a breakup, like, crying a lot watching <laughs> Queer Eye, right? It's, it's very, As like... Because yeah. it's so uplifting. It is, yeah. and it just, like, yeah. So, anyways, a friend of mine, Eva Chen, who uh, is head of fashion at Instagram, had Tan at the office that day, and I was like, I'm going to need to FaceTime Tan, <laughs> which is not really like me. Like, I'm not... not at all. You're not one to reach out. Yeah, like, no. if we're, like, in the same room and the universe brings us together and we're supposed to be friends, we'll get there, but I stalked him. You're so, like, will so you be my friend? So yeah. she literally invited me to her house within that hour. And that I was like, moment. Yeah, I was like, do you want to have tea? No yeah. way. And I was like, yep, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> and so I went over, we chilled for a few hours, and the rest is history. Wait, I love this. And then it turns out you have a lot in common. I read, and I think we can all agree on this one, you love breakfast burritos. We love we a do. breakfast We do. We ate a lot of breakfast burritos on set of You Mexican like a burrito fashion. better than a taco? Yeah, we love yes. a breakfast burrito. You like a burrito better than a breakfast taco? Yes. yes. Who has a breakfast taco? I thought you would taco. be in this club. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm from really? Texas. I'm pro... Oh. I mean, I'm not taco. against breakfast tacos. <laughs> like, that's a lot. I've never you know even what I mean? heard of a breakfast taco. <laughs> what? I'm going to take you to Austin. Oh, my God. Oh. You, what, you spent a lot of time in Austin. Austin. I've never heard of a breakfast taco. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I love I mean, a burrito. Yeah. I love, I love it. some hot we sauce do. on that burrito. I'm right. here for it. But yeah. I, you always would give me like the your hot sauce that you didn't finish, which is so I nice. I think I'm a really good older brother. Yeah, you are. Oh, I love yeah, this. Yeah, I do take care. Did y'all ever think you would work together after that chance encounter? Yeah, exactly. I thought we'd be mates. Yeah, I thought we'd always be friends. But like, oh, I wow. I think that this is a very specific yeah. great experience for us. That yeah. just like it worked. And yeah. um, but now that she's done this, maybe you'll be the Fab Six. Oh, I would love that. I actually would love I've been asking for that, but yeah, they yeah. just said, I like, that. I don't really... I would have to be yeah. your assistant, because, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what else... Tan, so yeah. many people feel like they know you. I mean, like, Gigi, yeah. we watch you, and we say, oh, my gosh, we want to yeah. be his friend. Is there anything about you that we don't know or that people may find surprising? Or is it, you know what, this is it? You know, I, I do think that you may disagree. I'm a lot shyer than I seem on TV. I'm nowhere near as confident in real life Aww. as I am on that TV. Makes you I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say shy. I feel that it's more like he, there's like a boundary, which I think that like everyone has. Yeah. And then once he gets like trusting and comfortable, yeah. then he like opens up a lot more. Yeah. But I, it's yeah. like. Yeah, I'm more guarded. Yeah, I'm I love that. British. I just, I don't let you in. And I don't say I love, do you know how Americans will always say yes. on the first day, oh my gosh, I love you so much. I don't love you. <laughs> I think but then, nice. have you said you love? Yeah. I love. Oh, you. you've earned the love. love. No, no, but it takes some time. Like, yeah. you don't love someone on the first day. You like them. Sometimes <laughs> I do. Yeah, no, we, I don't believe sometimes you. Sometimes I do. I, don't I, I throw it. that around. I, I love the word love. You do. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> Gigi, you were just on the cover of Elle, and you talked about not, you know, what people think about you, which I always think is kind of a strange mm. question, because right. how do you know what people think? Yeah. Sort of the misconceptions. You got kind of emotional when she asked this yeah. question. Why, why do you think? I don't know. I, I think probably it was just, um, it wasn't sad. It's just more of, like, I think that you have to have, there's, it comes with kind of, like, a mourning for the fact that mm -hmm. you won't be able to prove yourself to everyone, totally. right? And oh, how yeah. do you put yourself into words? I just felt like, I think, a lot of pressure for me um, because it's how you really know someone is when you're sitting with them in the complexity of a person, which don't come across, I think, in the very um, short snippets of my life that are given yeah. by my normal job. But I think that's why Next in Fashion was so nice for me mm -hmm. because it was really the first um, long format job where I spent a month and a half on the set with the same people, mm -hmm. the same oh crew, God. the same competitors. And you can really see, um, I think, us open up and our yeah. personalities get more... Um, ridiculous? Ridiculous. <laughs> get to know fun. you. Fun, yeah. yeah. And then we really, like, fall in love with the designers. So. I will say this. Whatever you think you know about Gigi in the press or whatever... You could not be more wrong. When you see her on the show, she is, in my opinion, 
America's sweetheart. She's yeah. the nicest person in the world. Like, that's why I fell in well, love with her. And I would say that is your reputation, she is, too. You know what? That you're, you're kind. But no, no, she's always her. kind. Yeah. But you don't know how playful she is. Yeah. Still, she's literally just the girl next door who like just so happens to look like this. I'm but, a goof. I mean, they really have to be like, you guys, calm. Like, yeah, calm let's get it together. We got to do this next, that. you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, And you guys down. are both parents yeah, of yeah. young kids. And mm -hmm. I feel like that probably changes your perspective on yeah. everything. I don't totally. know who thought I was responsible enough to have a child. <laughs> I definitely don't think I'm grown enough to have a child. Yes, you are. But, oh my you gosh, the amount of time I still feel like a child. Oh, oh that's my baby. Oh. oh, he's the best. Mine's a one, one and a half. One and a half and mine's two and a half. Two oh, and a half. Have you had a joint play date yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Because yours needs to come to New York or yes. mine needs to go to Salt Lake City. Yeah, it's a long <laughs> flight. There's a, a there's flight. A, it's a long flight. It's a long flight. And my child is a nightmare on a flight. But yes, soon. You know what's going to be great? When your when your kids bond and you're like oh my oh, god yeah, yeah when you your kids it, get along so and you get along it is right yes yeah. it makes Magic. parenting so much easier in my so. culture we do arranged marriages so I'm already planning on them being married <laughs> when I have older. a and Kai is part is Pakistani. part Pakistani yeah. so. oh that's, yeah. that's perfect I, yeah. but I have a three year old son and I'd like some of your genes so could we also <laughs> arrange that wait I mean, you haven't <laughs> seen my baby's face okay oh, fine. first so, of all fine. she might like girls so yeah, we can arrange let's not arrange any marriage she can make her own decision. Oh, yeah. Totally. Can, 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 this can. is why we love you. Okay, <laughs> Gigi and Dan, they're sticking around to tell us about the new season of Next in Fashion, plus three designers from the series show off their never oh, seen. So You'll fun. get to see them. So never seen before looks, right after this. <laughs> 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 Back now with supermodel Gigi Hadid and fashion designer Tan France, the co-host and judges of Netflix's Next in Fashion. I love it because you guys seem genuinely happy about this, right? Like, it's changed you for like, sure. Yeah. I've and never been happier at work. No, like, we yeah. really had a good time. I think, I mean, I am a huge competition show fan and I've watched them all and I think you can genuinely tell that we had a really good we time. We loved it. I can't well, it. This show is so exciting and we're really, really excited. We have some looks. Because we have some looks that y'all have never seen. First okay. of all, were y'all totally blown away by the young talent on this show? Yes. Oh, yeah. Wildly. I mean, I think they all bring such a different um, design perspective and that's really what we're looking for. Yeah. We're not looking for the next best sewer. We're okay. looking for the next best creative director and someone that's going to really inspire people's imagination. And next, not just what can you find in a mall? What would you wear yeah. to your office party? Like, we want something that's really inspirational. What you would see in editorials. And yeah. yeah. Elevated. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. I'm really excited about it. Okay, that. well, I know that y'all are excited because you kind of got a glimpse, but three of the designers from season two are joining us now to showcase their never before seen looks. Y'all have not seen them. We haven't seen them. Well, we saw them last night at dinner. We all well, had we dinner. Oh, had dinner? Let's see the new looks. Okay. So we're excited okay. to get your take. Are we ready? And their thoughts. Yes. All right, so let's bring out DeAndre Hancock. I love that we're doing a critique. And model yeah. Kayla. Yeah, here you are. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey. tell yeah. us about this look. Wow, so this that's look cool. is inspired by just my personality. I love to stand outside the box. Where are you from, DeAndre? I'm from Washington, D.C. Okay, oh, cool. Nation's capital. Okay. DeAndre's looking hot. <laughs> Did you also design your outfit? Yes. Wow. Just this morning in the hotel. I was no like way. whipping it up. Wait, what? You'll see it on the show. We pull yeah. things off really fast. Well, in a few <laughs> hours, they can do yeah, they can some do things that would blow your mind. I can so see this on the runway. I yeah, mean, yeah, so tell please. us about this look. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, this look, is, like I said, is inspired by me. Just loving to stand outside the box. I love to be eye-catching when I'm out. So I just thought that I would just, you know, make something that just catches everyone's are we, eye. Are we going to give a live critique? Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay, so here's how I here's how I feel about it, Gigi. Okay, go. What I think is, no, I love that you've given us your signature puffer. I love the contrast of leathers. I love that you've tied in the sparkle of the puffer on your uh, underlayer. I think it's so chic. Gigi, I love what, are your, too. what are your thoughts? Well, I really... <laughs> Well, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a time in the show where you nod to these pants, and yeah. I love to the see pants them. Are amazing. I love to see them on a girl. This is like a new take on those, and I am obsessed with them. I will be copying. Because, we, <laughs> because most of your stuff was on men yeah. uh, on the show, so I love that so you put really, it on somebody. We really pushed them. Up. Yeah, if they if they were originally menswear designers to try and yeah. you know, sh show those. Um, same shapes on women because I love to oh wear gosh. menswear. Deontre, is this not a dream to have these two? I mean, it's a dream come true. Like every day, I'm just like, I'm just like starstruck. You know what? Yeah. I can but, but also, you are a star. This you is are. Yeah. Yeah. We know Deontre. Deontre. How about that? Okay, right. y'all step over there. We got the you. next. So good. So the nice. next love designer, Amari Carter. She's oh my model, Amari. <gasps> Amari serving today. Amari, tell us about this look. 
So pretty much this was based on a breakup actually. Wow. So I'm all about the emotional storytelling. So you'll have the bra straps here. And then I'm all about the mystery. It's like my alter ego. What? Hold Amori, on. I Hold love on. This. You finished the look. It's amazing. Wait, it's but so this gorgeous. Is so detailed. What do you guys think? I mean, Amari is so good at, like you said, that detail. And I yeah. love that she really can make sexy it's pieces, so but also put kind of like a cool touch on top of them so you don't feel yeah. too vulnerable. And that's the kind of sexy that I want to wear. Right. And I think Amari is a genius The in that. finishes of it are so good. So Wait, good, are the so biker good, shorts good. back with the, la la the lace on the bottom? Are those I used back? to have some of those. Yes, those? Yeah. The lace on the bottom of the biker <laughs> I mean, shorts. She, if she's wearing them, they're back. If All right. Amari says it, then yes. yes. Okay. Totally. So that's nice beautiful. to meet you. We Thank have one more. Amari. Last but not least. Thank well, you guys. Amari of us so James cute. Ford, who is rocking his James! James! James, I want to wear that suit. Thank you. Thank Look at you. his smile. I don't <laughs> Yeah, no, James is hot. He's so James cute. Hot. I'm like the old lady. Look at his no, smile. James hot. Um, um, tell us about fun. that. Tell us about your suit. Yeah, so um, I'm doing my own stunts today, I guess. Um, hey. Didn't have a model. Okay. Uh, I do custom suits for the queer community. Okay. Um, so I made this because, you know, I like I, I make a lot of, like, first suits for people. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is their first suit that's really fit them, or they can't find something that's, you know, somewhere between a ball gown and a tuxedo, right? So that's kind of what I do. Um, but this isn't my first suit, right? I'm on, like, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> suits. This is perfect. So done. It's right. so good. I wanted to make something a little more fun, and I'm, I'm like a knit boy. I love knits. I love crochet. These are all... Um, Kentucky. Kentucky. Cool. Well, that is a beautiful all over the beautiful country. Beautiful suit. It's so fun, so funky. Those are like those James it. details that we yeah. really love. And I know for a fact James also made that necklace. That's right. Ooh, so, the necklace is so cool. Yeah, James really takes us to this like really funky slash classic world, and I relate to you. I feel like I can see style. all of these looks at like they the Met Gala. So yeah, proud. Like, so can you yes, see how they are so our designers. talented? Yes. Okay, designers, come back out. Um, thank you guys thank so you guys. much. Come on out. Come on okay. out. Come to Gigi us. Come and Tam, to us. thank y'all so you much. Thank I love so these much. looks, guys. Y'all look oh, incredible. Wow. And season two of Next in Fashion, it premieres next Monday on Netflix. I love it. Friday. 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 Oh, that's Friday. 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 Next Friday. Oh,